correct? Alright, sorry about that guys. I am back for more Quest 64. Yeah, funny story. I'm back on January 8th, 2014 at about 6 o'clock at night, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I cut and I did not come back, basically. It happens a lot. Welcome to the Barstless LP channel, by the way. Speaking of welcome to the Barstless LP channel, I just finished my Barstless LP channel intro 2. The second. The second of many. I don't know how many there's actually going to be, but I finished up a second one. Which does make me very happy, because I worked pretty hard on that. It took me three whole days of editing, which usually it takes me about two minutes to edit something. That's being very generous. <laughs> but no, the original channel intro took me like one day. Editing this definitely took a lot longer than everything else I've ever edited. Because, like, even the anime intro, which was quite a hefty edit, even though it was like a full day project. Uh, it was just like six hours in one day. This was like four hours over three days. So I definitely spent plenty of time on this. And I like how it turned out. It turned out just as I thought it would. No, but it turned out better than I thought it would, to tell you the truth. I did have some plans, which I was going to like throw in some explosion sound effects and some like Tongan sound effects when things happen, but I'm like, you know what, that's just kind of tacky. So I scrapped that, and everything else turned out pretty good. I was also thinking about making like a pretty cool title intro for Boss LP this time, but instead I just went for yellow text. It still looks good, don't get me wrong, I, I think it looked, looked pretty nice. Not to toot my own horn here, but I think I did my best. And we need to be heading over to Normoon, don't we? God damn it. Oh, look at that path we have to follow through the friggin' like mountains just to get there. So yeah, Normoon is the place we have to go next. I'm not exactly remembering why. I think like the one bitch was like, hey, you gotta go here. So we gotta go here. I mean, I'm not one to complain. Man, doing that intro made me realize something. What the hell happened to Stupid Game Saturday? I keep, like, wanting to mention that, but I never do. I never mention Stupid Game Saturday, and I feel so bad about it. Oh, I love Stupid Game Saturday. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't have any plans to end off the series of Stupid Game Saturday. But seriously, Ross, where, where in Carmen San Diego is it? In the name of... Of her and what the flying shit I just noticed that the gremlins they have like poker cards for like their capes or whatever the hell they are anywho I'm really going to be checking the map a lot in this episode because I really want to make sure I'm not going the stupid direction yes these stupid directions have just been uh, equated into one stupid direction that's how it works and it looks like I'm going in a stupid direction unless I can walk across this oh shit I can Hot damn! Alright, I'm actually going the right way. Unfortunately, I believe this is the area I was talking about before. We're going to start running into, like, wild buffaloes, and they're going to friggin' beat the shit out of us with their stupid magic of dropping a shitload of boulders everywhere. Man, these gremlins suck. They're not even trying to hit me. Then why am I so full of energy? I feel like I could record a lot today, and I have no idea why. Urgh, eat my rocks. <clears throat> Man, these gremlins blow. Get out of here. Nah, nah. I missed. Yeah. Yeah, fella. Good. That's gonna do. Get out of here, you stupid orc. Or oak. Whatever you are. I don't, I don't know where you are. I'm just gonna call you Thing. Thing 1 and Thing 2. Oh, they're really a hit. Thing 1 and Thing 2. How'd that miss? I didn't even move. I don't think I've ever not moved for those things and somehow managed to dodge it. I keep only getting hit by one, though, so that's perfectly fine by me. Yeah, continue throwing your rock. That's that's really going to help you. I bet you're wishing you had a close range attack right about now. And I bet you wish I could have killed this thing by now. Get out of here. Oh, my God. This gremlin will not fuck off. Oh, by the way, there are some cool things you can notice about the channel intro. Seriously, go down. For example, I froze. Awesome. This thing will not die. There we go. Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, there are a couple clips in there where it does, in fact, include, uh, LPs I haven't uploaded yet. Mostly this and, uh, Fire Emblem Sword of Seals. The time this is uploaded, they'll both be uploaded, so this is gonna be kind of a null point. But at the time, yeah, neither of those series were uploaded yet. 
So yeah, kind of cool. Uh, the one scene I upload was from the third episode of Quest 64, and from Sword of Steel's was like the fourth episode. Because that's pretty much the most I have rendered up to this point. And this is a marrow. It's basically a girl praying on the ground, and she throws daggers at you. I don't, I don't get it. Maybe she's not praying, maybe she's just trying to look seductive. I don't know. Something about her, but... I'm not gonna question it. Eat my rock. BAM! That did not kill the werehair. How in God's name did that not kill the werehair? Oh, because it's not hitting him. Okay, that's fine by me. Whoa, what the hell was that? I think he, she just tried to silence me. Silencing is a very rare trait for the monster to have. And there goes the God damn it! Guess I gotta throw a rock at you then. I'm surprised I managed to hit that off. Man, every time she attacks, she jumps back like 30 feet. Oh man, I can't even hit her anymore. She's like in boofu freaking Egypt over there. All right, let's go for fire then. Oh man, the range is too low. That's no fair. All right, um, shit. Uh, freaking homing arrow. Let's try that. There we go. That can hit her and do all like three damage. Good deal. Okay, I can finally move again. Uh, stop it. You're not going to hit me. Look how far away she is. She's not even in the battle diamond anymore, I don't think. She's not even trying. She's just running away like a pansy. There we go. Okay, new list of enemy now. That didn't take long to make him an enemy out of you. Oh, boy. Well, I got 10-10 HP now. And why on earth am I going that way? Well, 110 HP now. I don't know why I call it 10-10. Oh, no. Oh, no, not the skeletons. I forgot about these things. These things hurt a lot. Yeah, they're not someone you really want to fight. Yeah, they're... They're kind of not fun to fight. And they kind of dodge, apparently. I did not think they were excellent dodgers. Yeah, this battle can go bad really fast, unless I can kill these things. I'm going to try and kill them both. I might end up using bread in order to kill them, but whatever. Alright, I got one of them. I might not need bread. I might need bread. Uh, if I can't reach you, I'm just going to spirit arm it. What the... How'd I miss on myself? I forgot that can happen. You can actually miss your own status affecting moves. It makes no, no sense at all. But yes, you can miss moves you use on yourself. I don't get it at all. It reminds me that, oh, fucking damn it. Oh, I didn't realize I was leveling up there, so I put another point into water. Ugh. Man, I'm just getting angry now. I should record some stupid games Saturday. Today would be the perfect day to do it, you know, being Saturday and all. Man, I really am in the mood to record some stupid games Saturday. Why don't I go do that right after this session? <clears throat> yeah, that's that sounds like a plan. What should I do, though? I don't know. Hmm. I should add the return to that. I really should. It's like my most popular series on my channel, next to Call of Duty. I mean, it, I, it kind of deserves it. It kind of deserves to have its spot in my channel. And I have fun with it. Oh, I just haven't really been annoyed lately. Oh, what the frick? God damn it. No. I'm not fighting this. You guys are annoying. Oh, get me out of here. Okay. So if I just keep looping around here, I'll reach... Uh... Yeah, there's no moon right there. Cool deal. I might have to walk through like a city first or some kind of village. I don't know. Oh, man, I'm surprised I haven't run into those stupid buffalo yet. Maybe I'm wrong about where I run into them. I could have sworn it was over here. I'm going to dread it if they just start appearing now, because I freaking hate those things. They just use avalanche, hits the entire battlefield, does a shitload of damage. Oh, here we go. Now I can actually distribute the point where I want to go. Earth. There we go. Jesus Christ. Did I even get anything for getting water? Oh, no, I did. I got water pillar level 4. All right, well, that's cool, I guess. I do enjoy me some water pillar, le or level 3, I mean. I do enjoy me some... How did I dodge that? That was cool again. Water pillar level 3 does this. Boom! Just a giant tower of water. I don't know what else you expected. It was just getting bigger and bigger every single time. Of course, this is our first spell that's going to cast 3 MP to use. Which I don't remember, but I believe 3 MP is the max MP your moves can cost. 
So, if you're looking for expensive spells, look no further. That's the first one we've got that's the most expensive. I could be wrong. There might be four and five. I don't remember. If there's a four, there's probably a five. If there isn't, then there's probably only a three. Yeah, I'm going to kick your ass the second I get out of this stupid block of ice. All right. If you don't want to do that, I'll just hit you with water. How did that miss? Okay, this guy's being a real asshole. Get me out of this ice. Damn, I thought if you hit the A button, it would automatically get you out of the ice. Like, if you wasted your turn on purpose. But apparently not. Maybe he just keeps repeatedly freezing me over and over again. I really don't like this thing. This thing is annoying. At least I saw my attack. Bam! 53. Get wrecked. That's what I like to see. These things are a great experience, though. Maybe it was just those skeletons. I don't know. Those skeletons were excellent a like experience. I don't think I was anywhere close to a level up, and then those things appeared. They helped the crap out of me, man. It was great. Oh, it was it was something special. <sighs> Someone home? Uh, I thought I was alone. I'll go see. All right, sorry about that. I'm back. Uh, people were shutting curtains. I was all confused. Uh, apparently, it was my sister. I'm like, wait, why? Uh, yeah, usually it's other people that shut curtains, but. <laughs> That's a very odd trait for me to notice. Like, it's other people that have the habit of shutting curtains. Whatever. Hey, what's up in your house? You are the pinkest knight ever. Dorothy. Oh, okay. After you pass the cave known as Colt Hazard up ahead, it's straight on to Normoon. It's quite a hike, so rest here till you're ready to leave. Oh, awesome. You, oh, you let me save too. You, my good neighbor Dorothy, are quite the person. So I've been doing this for four hours? Jesus. A lot of that was not on screen, so that doesn't mean I've recorded four hours of video, and thank God it's daytime, too. Ah, well, let's check out the sign. Oh, right, you can't check out signs sign this game. That's kind of stupid. They should have added that, but no. I don't really care. Oh, wait, is this our first cave? Oh, no. Caves are usually not fun for me, because caves usually mean high-level monsters, and high-level monsters means a lot of running away from battles. Yeah, and a lot of going off screen and training against them, but I could be wrong. I don't remember what exactly the first cave was like as compared to all the other ones, but let's go tackle it. Uh, my water magic is incredibly high compared to all my other things. Well, not incredibly high, but still, I need to bump up everything else, like fire. Alright, well, let's take a look inside this cave. Interesting. I don't like the look of this cave already. Shit. Well, let's go through it. Is this the cave I'm thinking it is? Because if it is, this is the Weavern Cave. Oh, no. All right, another cool trick. I think here you're actually able to run back and forth and no monsters will spawn. So once again... Uh, huh. Hmm. Maybe this isn't the Weavern Cave. Maybe this is the one where a bunch of bats come in. I don't remember what the bats look like, but I'm pretty sure there's bats in this game. Because there's bats in... Yeah, yep, yeah, there they are. It's the freaking skull skeleton bats from... Goddamn Ocarina of Time. God damn, he shoots that fast. These things die incredibly quickly, though, so... They're not exactly durable, but they shoot the blade so goddamn fast, good luck dodging it. That's all I gotta say. He was worth about 6% experience towards my magic, so that's not bad. Alright guys, you gotta remind me to stop hitting like the C buttons after every single battle. I don't even know why I hit the C buttons after the thousands accidentally select magic. I don't honestly re Oh no, I know I know why. It's because I have to heal after every battle. So I automatically hit down, go to water, and go to healing. And that's why I keep accidentally bumping up water magic. God damn it. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Oh well. So yeah, Treacher's Cave here, huh guys? We found one Skelebat and nothing else. Where were all the other monsters? Oh, there's the broken walls. Oh, great. Here we go. Wait, was I walking backwards? Oh, god damn it, skull bat. Let's go for water. Apparently water missed. Good deal. Ow. Yeah, like I said, skull bats are not ow. These guys must be great for training up your defense, seeing how fast they shoot their goddamn wind magic. Alright. Yeah, that was actually a lot of defense upgrading, I think. Could be wrong. 
So yeah, here's a good strategy for this cave. Since then nobody spawns in here, I can just beat everything up I find with the stick, heal after the battle, I'm all good. I can even fight the stupid Skelebats. Good deal, good deal. Um, I feel like I should be discovering stuff in this cave. I'm not finding anything. More Skelebats, all by themselves. I don't know why I'm finding them by themselves. Usually I find them in groups. Let's put up some spirit armor. Or I never said what the whole, like, missing thing reminded me of. When you can miss stuff you use on yourself. That reminds me of the stupid Pokemon Online, which I used to play. It's actually kind of fun where you could catch... And basically train them up. It was, like, it, was, it was a basically online MMO. But for Pokemon. I don't even remember what the hell it was called anymore. Dalton actually showed it to me, surprisingly of all people. And it actually wasn't that bad. But the problem was, for some odd reason, the game was bugged where you could use moves on yourself and they'd miss. So it just didn't make any sense. It's like, you're using freaking Harden. How does that miss? Not that you use Harden that much, but there's other moves. And yes, 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 this looks just like the goddamn Weaver Cave. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Kill me now. Oh, they're gonna be here any second, aren't they? I better just try and get through this as fast as possible. Oh, shit. There's the Scarecrow. Okay, enough with the wind enemies. Jesus. All right, let's try Rolling Rock. If I aim in this direction, I should be able to hit a good bit of them. Bam! That looks pretty painful. The Blob enemies I actually kind of like, because they don't do much to you. So you can pretty much wreck them as you want. Scarecrows are also not bad. They're just going to use some pretty high-level wind magic. There we go. That's what I like to see. I'll take out all these guys. The blood gels. Yeah, that's what the blood gels do. The blood gels will do pretty weak damage, and as long as you stand still, you usually only be hit by, like, two of them. Or one. Yep, two. So it's like the higher level of, like, the stupid fire daggers. Stupid scarecrow. Get out of here. The scarecrows are likely going to go first. There we go. Blood gels are actually kind of magic resistant. There we go. Oh god, oh god. Alright, come on. Get out of here. There we go. I forgot how resistant the blood gels were. They're actually surprisingly resilient for what they are. I mean, they're slime enemies. Usually when you think of slime enemies, you don't think of resilient creatures. But that's the end of that. How much experience did I get for that? Oh, hell yeah. Definitely gonna train up in here when I get the chance of like going to Normoon and getting out of here and doing all that looping. And then, like I said, there's a lot of those cave sections, like what's up back there. So you can pretty much just walk back and forth, get your magic up, heal, and repeat. Unfortunately, you're also going to have to run into Weaverns, which I don't have any strategy for them, other than getting the hell out of Dodge. Let's say, think, I could almost swear upon my life that the Weaverns are here. And I don't even remember if they're called Weaverns. They might be called something totally different. You guys have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, but I'm assuming I'm correct on what I'm calling them. Just an assumption. I know Let's Players aren't usually supposed to assume things. Because even more so than any other person you could possibly be, it makes a total ass out of yourself. And this Scarecrow will not stop dodging. I know you're a wind enemy, so please stop it. Maybe that's why they're all the wind enemies, because they know they dodge everything. And again, the game clearly just programmed everyone to be really dodgy, so... I guess my complaint is kind of non-existent. And I'll get a free hit on the gel by hitting you with a rock. And I missed, of course. Good deal. God damn, these blood gels actually hurt. Ugh, maybe I don't remember fighting these blood gels that much. How much damage? That was like... Man, these things are really annoying. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm guessing you can't do 17 damage. There we go. I didn't even need it. Now let's just heal, 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 heal. And pretty much rinse and repeat. Welcome to grinding. I'm showing some on-screen grinding at this point. Even though I usually don't get beaten up this much when I grind. Yeah, when I grind, I usually fight stuff that I can actually beat. And won't have to waste that much MP on with healing. Luckily, I'm healing like 10 and 9 now, so... I'm getting a lot more bang out of my 2 MP healing. So, yeah. It's almost as if you could use healing level 1 for in on-screen battles, but... I don't recommend it. Oh, no. No! No! The Weavern! <sighs> I hate these things. I'm gonna show one battle against this thing. This is this is one battle against the Weavern. You get close, 
Freeze Fire does 21 damage. That's... No. Just... Just... No. Why? Why would I ever show off a fight against this thing? Look how much damage it does. It breathes from its nose and barely does anything. But it moves across the entire stadium, gets right next to you, and does 21 damage with a giant fireball. There's nothing you can do. It's, it's like fighting a second Sovereign. But this time, instead of, like, waiting from the background, he can go fly across the entire map, dodge all of your attacks, and proceed to beat the shit out of you. There's... Don't, don't even fight the Weavers. Just run. They're, they're not fun. They're just bad creatures. And I'm not fighting for these freaking things. I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a lot of off-screen training. That is apparent. Okay, which way is the proper shit? I don't know. <laughs> oh, hey, look, over there. We got a wisp, I think. Good deal. And we also have a chest. What is that? Oh, yeah, it is a chest. Look at that. A wisp and a chest. One long day ago, wolf and a bird, da ba da ba, and the call sister. No something something three-eyed frog, cat dog. That is pretty much what I get from that show. Okay. What do I want? Let's go for Marth. I'm gonna be needing it. Ah, weakness. Okay. So we have weakness now. I don't find myself using that spell a lot. It basically just weakens the enemy. It's good against bosses, I suppose, but half the time you're not even going to be able to get it off. Oh, uh, let's heal up the damage I forgot to heal off. Eh, close enough. I'm not gonna waste my MP on that. Ah, look at this. Alright, let's try off weakness then. Hmm. Those scarecrows. Okay, let's get him. <coughs> Wrong one. There we go. Bam! Defense down. Oh, wait, no. Maybe that's what the stupid thing was trying to use on me. But it missed, like, every single time. But now that you're weak, your defense down, a whole 29 damage. I should definitely demonstrate what I can do now to him with just my basic staff. 41. Definitely very powerful. Then again, I was able to do that for quite a while now, so maybe that's not that powerful. I'm just going to throw more rocks at these things, because that lets me hit all of them. Hehehe. <laughs> 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 propane. Get wrecked. I missed the one in the middle, though, I think, with that rock. Man, these blood gels are a lot more annoying than I remember. Oh, wait, I remember water beating the crap out of them. Let's try that. Oh yeah, look at that. That's some nice damage right there. Then again, they are like red enemies, so I suppose it does make sense. I was hitting them both with water. That does a good deal of damage. And maybe if I can get in between them, I could just hit them with a regular level 2 water. Perhaps. No, I missed. Well, I killed one of them. Now I could just go for the other one. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, get out. They don't even do that much damage. Just the fact that they hit you repeatedly over and over. And god damn it! I put another point in the water. The game has to stop doing that. Or I had to stop doing that. I don't care. One of us has to figure out that we're doing this wrong. Ugh. Well, my water's up to 15 now. I decided that I kind of wanted to get both my stats up to 15 before I started raising fire. So I suppose that's all in good faith. I really wish I could position the camera over here right now. Okay, that's where the chest was. I just need to run over this one. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. Get me out of this battle. Okay, it's right over there. Yeah, I'm leaving. Goodbye. If you find a Weavern... To... No. Actually, you know what? That actually wasn't a bad battle, now I think back on it. Because the Weavern was with enemies. And when the Weavern's with enemies, that doesn't mean he can attack every single turn. So, yeah, maybe you would want to fight a Weavern in that situation. That'd probably be a lot... Like... <laughs> that would actually be a little bit safer than fighting him by himself. There's very few RPGs where you can say fighting one enemy by himself is easier than fighting a ton of them. Of course, he's always the one to go first. Oh, hey, look, a wisp over there. All right, well, looks like I get another wisp. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to fire out this Weaver. I'm going to put on some power. Oh, but man, these things have a lot of HP. I 53? That was not bad. All right. Well, these Skelebats can't do, like, shit to me. 